flat there for a sec. Yeah, I know, landing the plane was hard, man. I got in here, I was like, holy shit. My name's Rory Bushfield, I'm Canadian. For the past 15 years of my ski career, I've filmed video parts around the world. I've competed in big events like the X Games, and I've worked with dozens of magazines. Now my focus is just flying to ski and skiing to fly. I've been talking about it and thinking about it for so long. I didn't want to like take anyone down with me with this crazy dream, you know, but Mace is like, he's down. And not only is he down, he's got an in-tune look at, at life and he showed me how to live in a teepee this winter. Burks bumps. It's just an old clear cut. In the winter it gets covered in snow and all those stumps turn into jumps. And we skied down the run right out of the teepee, hitting these airs everywhere. You see a bump, and boom, oh, air to that bump to the next one. You're like, it's pretty much the funnest run you've ever done in your life. Sick thread? <laughs> yeah, dude. Ah! Gonna do some board. We named this run Burke's Bumps after Sarah Burke herself. She would have loved it. Keep it going. And then when the snow line came up, we moved to the glacier. The first clear morning we had in weeks, we long-lined our teepee poles and our sleds, and we headed for higher ground, where we hoped to shred the rest of the winter and land the plane right at camp. Spirit lives. That day I was landing my plane alone for the first time. The light had turned flat because there was a storm coming in, and on my first touch I landed with a crosswind and it felt like the ski ripped right off the plane. I found out that my ski was still there, and so I came around and put it down. I nailed it. And right after I landed, my boy Daza came in in the Black Tusk Heli long lining everything we needed to stay for the rest of the winter. Mix monster, garage. Weather here is mild. Everything's been delivered. It's a sandwich. The teepee is just a super convenient, awesome way to live in the woods. We're the only ones in this city. Oasis of pal. You ready down there, TP brother? He's donging up. Once Mason and I got it dialed, we felt comfortable enough to bring out some of our friends, and that's when we really got it going. And then start tapping the tops of mountains. And started flying in formation with helicopters.
think it's a good feeling to feel like you're in over your head and then come out on top. That's like, that's what I live for. It's a huge change in the way I'm going to ski for the rest of my life. Oh, that's a bad jindle. <laughs>